With oil prices climbing sky high, the sun may be rising as an energy alternative. Right now, just 7% of energy used in this country comes from renewable sources like solar power. 40% comes from petroleum. But there's more and more interest in turning to the sun, even though there may be some clouds on the horizon. Here's Bill Whitaker. It's freezing in this Contessa Foods plant in Los Angeles, where workers process, package, and ship tons of frozen vegetables, fish, and meat each day. It's almost like putting 200,000 refrigerators all in one place. Powered largely by the sun, this array of paper-thin solar panels rolled across a roof the size of two football fields has helped cut Contessa's energy use in half, which is significant for an operation that requires so much energy. It can be done and we did it. This is my electric meter. Diana Ungerleader put solar panels on her roof last year. They not only got her meter spinning. It's actually spinning backwards, meaning that the electricity being generated by my solar panels is feeding back into the grid. But her head spins every time she gets an electric bill. So last year you paid $220 for a two month period. Right. And this year, this year was $14. $14. Right. I've saved like, I think over $1,000 in one year. Long known for fun in the sun, California now more than all the other states combined is putting the sun to work. At this Napa winery, the sun ripens the grapes and provides all of the electricity. This is going to become a launch pad. Governor Schwarzenegger recently announced the most ambitious plan. Southern California Edison, the region's largest utility, installing solar cells on 65 million square feet of commercial rooftops over the next five years. When it's complete, it will produce enough power for 162,000 homes. But much of this sun worship is pie in the sky, say critics like UC Berkeley's Severin Bornstein. Solar energy is definitely not the magic bullet for high energy costs. Instead of solar panels, he says consumers would be better off using more home insulation and energy efficient appliances. Right now, solar photovoltaic power is still very, very expensive compared not just to fossil fuels, but compared to the other renewable sources that are out there. That's the biggest downside. Is Diana Ungerleader's solar array costs $50,000, but... My system will probably pay for itself after about 10 years, and after that, it's just free energy. Solar and other green technologies added 15% to the $40 million cost of the new Contessa food plant. I feel the smart businessman would uh, be justified doing this because it's going to help them in the long run, and it's also going to help the planet. Rising demand for solar technology should bring prices down eventually. But for now, it helps to have green in your heart and in your pocket. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Los Angeles.